Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today, we are going to discuss about equations we want to solve with inverse matrix. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So we will solve system of equations using an inverse matrix. So the system of equation is in two variables, 3x plus 7y equal to 11 and minus 5x plus 4y equal to 13. We will write the equations in the form A, which is a matrix times X, which is another matrix equal to B. So if we take, if we divide by A on both sides, we get X is equal to A inverse one because it's B divided by A, which is A exponent minus one B. So our equation is originally, our A are the coefficients of x and y in the two equations. So in the first equation, the coefficient of x is three, coefficient of y is seven. In the second equation, coefficient of a is minus five and coefficient of b is four. So the components of matrix A are three and seven and minus five and four. And then the matrix x can be written as x, y. Only one component in the first row x, one component in the second row y. Similarly, on the right hand side of the equal to the matrix B is 11, 30. It's a one column, two row matrix, one by two matrix. Okay, both the x and B are one col column and two row matrix, whereas A itself is a two by two. So A is equal to the matrix three, seven, and minus five, four. We can write this as components as A, B, C, D. So in our case, A is three, B is seven, C is minus five, and D is four. Now the formula for A inverse for a two by two matrix is one over AD minus BC, which is basically the determinant. AD minus BC is the determinant of matrix A multi that is multiplied by one over the determinant of matrix A that is multiplied by the matrix. And we have to do some change. And for A, we write D and we leave the matrix, original matrix as minor, which was just B in the first row, second column was original matrix was B, it becomes a minus B. Now original matrix, second row, first column was C, it becomes a minus C and original matrix, second row, second column was D, it becomes A. So A and D have changed positions, whereas B and C have acquired an additional minus sign. Okay, so let's do the determinant first. AD minus BC is three times four minus CD, I mean CB. So AD minus CB. So AD is three times four and minus C is minus five times seven. So two minuses will make that second term positive. So the determinant will be 12 plus 35, which is 47. And the, trans and the change matrix is four for D, D, yeah, D was uh, originally four, so now it takes a position of A. And uh, B, which was seven, becomes minus seven. And uh, original matrix C was minus five, now it becomes minus five, uh, minus C, so minus and minus makes it five. So because it's minus C and C was originally minus five, two minuses make it five and A is three. A and D have switched position, C and B have become negatives, okay? Now, so for the determinant, we have 47. So A inverse is equal to one over 47 and the matrix is four minus seven in the first row and five and three in the second row. Then we apply the rules of multiplication. We distribute the element one over 47 to each of the components of the matrix. Basically, we multiply each of the numbers by one over 47. So A inverse becomes four over 47 in the first row, first columns, first row, second column is minus seven over 47. Second row, first column, 
second row, first column is five over 47. Second row, second column is three over 47. Now X, as I've told you before, is A inverse B. Our matrix B is just a one column, two row, 11 by 11 and 13. And we have to do the matrix multiplication of this with A inverse, which is four over 47 and minus seven over 47 and five over 47 and three over 47. Applying the rules of the multiplication, we will first multiply the first row of A inverse with the only column of matrix B. So it is four over 47 times 11 minus, because seven over 47 is already minus, seven over 47 times 13. This is the first row, first column in the matrix X. Next one, second row, first column will be five over 47 distributed to 11 plus three over 47 distributed to 13. Distributed means multiplication. Now we'll complete the multi multiplication. Four times 11 is 44 by 47 minus seven times 13 is 91 divided by 47. First row, first column. Second row, first column. Five times 11 is 55 divided by 47 plus three times 13 is 39 divided by 47. So 44 minus 91 is minus 47 divided by 47. Second row, first column, 55 plus 39 is 94 divided by 47. So 47 divided by 47 is one and we have a minus sign, minus one and two, 94 divided by 47 is two. So our solution set is the matrix minus one, two. That means X is equal to minus one, Y equal to two. If we plug it in back in the original system of equations, we'll check to make sure whether the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side. And when we plug it in in the first equation, it is three times minus one plus seven times two, which is minus three plus 14 is 11. And in the second equation, it is minus five times minus one, which makes it positive five plus four times two is eight, which is 13. These numbers match with the numbers on the right-hand side of the equal to sign in the original equation. So what is the bottom line? The bottom line is our solution set is X minus one, Y two, okay? And we have solved it by using an inverse matrix. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment. I will respond to your comment as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, which you see at the bottom right corner of your screen. Thanks for watching. Take care, have a nice day, and please subscribe to my channel. And I will come back next week with another problem, interesting problem. Okay, thank you, take care, bye.